Six female celebrities currently rotting in jail, and the reasons why. Shannon Richardson Born in August 1977, Texas, United States, Shannon Guess Richardson, a mom of six children, is an American convicted felon who also worked in the film industry as an actress. She featured in some television roles and films, including The Walking Dead. In 2014, she was sentenced to 18 years in prison for sending rice and letters to three people. These three people included President Barack Obama, New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, and Mark Glaze. The crazy thing about her arrest is that she tried to frame her husband for her crimes she had committed, but after a police investigation, she was found guilty and was arrested. A judge sentenced Richardson in a federal court in Texas for charges of producing, processing, and transferring a biological toxin with an intent to use it as a weapon. As far as we know, it's still not clear why she picked her targets. Shannon pleaded guilty to sending the three letters containing toxic compounds that were extracted from castor beans. According to police records, Shannon used her husband's credit card to purchase castor beans and lye, which contained ricin. In May of 2013, Shannon called the police and falsely accused her husband, Nathan Richardson, of mailing envelopes that contained poisoned ricin to several politicians. Thankfully, the FBI was alerted and took a look into the matter, where they were able to confiscate the laced envelopes before reaching the targeted victims. Despite the attempt to implicate her husband, Shannon was found guilty and arrested in 2013, where she eventually received a long 18-year sentence. The letter that was written to President Obama read, What's in this letter is nothing compared to what I've got in store for you, Mr. President. As per the document, she continued to say that you will have to kill my family and me before you get my guns. Anyone who wants to come to my house will get shot in the face. At this point, I'm not even sure what she thought was going to happen after threatening the president. And trying to frame your husband for your crimes? Wow, that's... that's bananas. During her trial, Mr. Nathan Richardson filed for a divorce and took custody of their children, including a newborn who Miss Richardson gave birth to prematurely while facing her trials in court. Unlike the celebrity at the end of this video serving out a 116-year prison sentence, Shannon's 18-year prison sentence comes to an end in 2028. Allison Mack Allison Kristen Mack is an American actress born in July of 1982. She rose to fame for playing some major roles in TV shows. She played the role of Chloe Sullivan on the superhero TV series Smallville between 2001 and 2011. She also had a recurring role in Wilfred, a comedy series that aired for two seasons from 2012 to 2014. Allison was a member of Nexium, a cult community that was posing as a multi-level marketing company. Mac was arrested in 2018 on charges of sex trafficking conspiracy and forced labor conspiracy relating to the activities of the Nexium cult group. In 2021, she was sentenced to three years in prison after pleading guilty to charges of racketeering and racketing conspiracy. So how did Mac end up in a cult that landed her in prison? Well, it all started back in 2006 when Allison joined the Nexium cult organization after attending a women's group event that was hosted by the cult organization. The cult organization portrayed itself as a group aiming to inspire and coach women on how to better themselves. However, the cult founder, Keith Rainier, was preying on young women and psychologically breaking down his subjects. In February of 2017, Allison married Nikki Klein, a Canadian actress who was also a member of Nexium. It was reported that Matt got deep into the cult, and she even became a high-ranking member of the Nexium organization. In fact, she was ranked second in command after the leader of the cult organization, Keith Rainier. Both Allison Klein and Lauren Salzman, the daughter of Nexium president, were the three closest members of Rainier's inner circle who were also his sexual partners. During her time in the cult, Mac was made the co-creator of a Nexium program that targeted recruiting Hollywood actors. In 2018, Allison was arrested by the FBI in Brooklyn on charges of trafficking and recruiting young women to the cult organization. According to the police report, the victims were assaulted and exploited for their labor. The prosecutors also charged her with helping Nikki Klein evade the U.S. immigration laws to illegally acquire U.S. citizenship. Allison was supposed to face 16 to 17 years in prison, but her cooperation that aided in the arrest of Keith Rainier, the cult founder, handed her a reduction to only three years in prison. By the way, Keith, the founder of the Nexium cult organization, was found guilty on multiple crimes and was handed a 120-year sentence in prison. Amy Locaine The next celebrity on our list is a woman who has faced multiple sentences after her ruling was reviewed. Amy Rose Locaine, who was born in 1971, is an American actress appearing in some films with great stars such as Johnny Depp, Matt Damon, and Brandon Fraser. In September of 2020, Amy began serving her eight-year sentence on charges of driving under the influence that caused a fatal car accident, taking the life of 60-year-old Helen Seaman and severely injuring her husband in 2010. She was initially given a three-year sentence, which she had to serve two and a half years. However, the court revised her sentence and resentenced her to eight years in prison. Apparently, there was some leniency on her original sentence, which led to her time in prison being extended. 
As per police records, in June of 2010, around 9 p.m. in the evening, Amy Locaine was driving at 53 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone, which saw her running into a car driven by Fred Seaman, which was going at 3 miles per hour. Following the test done on her blood alcohol level, it was revealed that Amy was three times over the legal limit and driving at such a high speed was reckless endangerment. In December of 2010, Locaine was charged with aggravated manslaughter and assault by an automobile and was later sentenced to three years in prison in February of 2013. She was, in fact, given a minimum sentence by Judge Robert B. Reed due to considerations of the affairs of her children. In June 2015, Amy was released on parole, and later that year, her husband filed for divorce and took custody of their children. In July 2016, a New Jersey appeal court ruled that the three-year sentence given to Amy was to be reviewed due to inadequate information on why Judge Reed handed her a minimum sentence. This led to an extension and another five years in prison. Surprisingly, the five-year sentence was reviewed again in 2020, and the court resentenced Amy to eight years in New Jersey State Prison. Amy's case is one of the complicated ones that had different judges give their ruling, causing Locaine to spend much more years in prison. It is still unclear whether the eight-year sentence will be her last or if the court might review the ruling again. Sunny Tamara Lynn Sitch is a former pro wrestler who performed under the name Sunny, and she is the real definition of an outlaw for committing countless crimes in her life. Tamara is often nicknamed the original WWE diva after amassing popularity not only for wrestling but also for portraying villainous performances in the stories of other wrestlers. In May of 2022, she was arrested in a gruesome DUI accident that claimed the life of a motorist. The accident involved a traffic crash in Ormond Beach, Florida, where Tamara's vehicle did not stop during a traffic signal. Tamara's vehicle was recorded by CCTV footage crashing into a car and then hitting another vehicle that was in front of it. At the time of the crash, Lynn was lucky enough to survive, and she was rushed to a nearby hospital for treatment and then later released after the police obtained a sample of her blood for further investigation. Tamara, who is now 49 years old, was found to have three and a half times more alcohol content in her system than the legal blood alcohol limit at the time of the accident. She was charged with one count of causing death while operating an automobile with a revoked or suspended driver's license one count of DUI causing death, seven accounts of driving under the influence causing damage to property. In Florida, DUI manslaughter is considered a felony, and Tamara might face up to 30 years in prison if she's found guilty. In addition, there is a four-year minimum sentence added to a conviction, not forgetting the tens of thousands of dollars in fines. Sitch has had a rough patch with law enforcement throughout her life. In 2012, she was arrested five times in a span of four weeks for multiple charges, such as disorderly conduct, third-degree burglary, and three counts of violating a protective order. Later on in 2013, she was arrested for a sixth time for violating another protective order where she had served a 114-day sentence in a Connecticut jail. Her arrest did not stop here. As per police records, in 2015, she was arrested three times in Pennsylvania for DUI charges. In 2018, she was charged with fleeing from an accident scene in relation to her arrest. In 2020, she was arrested for violating a restraining order and operating a vehicle with a suspended license. In January of 2022, she was again arrested in New Jersey for making terrorist threats and illegally possessing a weapon. She was released the following day and ordered to check in with the court on a weekly basis. Skylar Deleon Is he a he or a she? Hmm. This next celebrity on our list is quite a complicated case. Skylar Deleon is a former Power Ranger actor who was sentenced to death for taking the lives of two people, Tom and Jackie, on their yacht in 2004. Skylar, with the help of her then-wife, Jennifer Henderson, promoted Tom and Jackie to glory as part of acquiring their money to pay for Skylar's gender confirmation surgery. At this time, the Deleons were in great debt and desperate to get funds for the gender transition surgery quickly, and this led them to commit the crime. It is quite a long story, but I will narrow it down for you. So it started when Jackie and Hawk put their yacht on sale because they wanted to settle down after the birth of their grandson. The couple put the boat up for sale, and soon after that, they received a call from the young couple, Deleon and Jennifer, who showed interest in buying the boat. After making arrangements to meet, Deleon and Jennifer came along with their baby to check out the yacht. What seemed like a young, loving, and harmless couple turned out to be deadly and cold-blooded killers. The Hawks, Tom and Jackie, were last seen alive on the morning of November 2004 after meeting with the Delians. They were seen heading out to the harbor, but when the yacht returned, they weren't there. Till today, they have never been found. After police were informed, an investigation started, which led to the arrest of Delion and her wife together with their accomplices. It was later discovered that Delion was the mastermind behind the act for financial gain. Deleon was found guilty and was charged and convicted for three accounts of first-degree murder for financial gain. The jury verdict handed Deleon the death penalty in 2009. She's currently on death row at San Quentin State Prison. Skyler's wife, Jennifer, was found guilty and charged with first-degree murder. She was sentenced to life imprisonment on two terms without the possibility of parole. Jennifer is currently locked up in the Central California Women's Facility. 
While in prison in 2008, before she had changed her gender to female, Deleon attempted to cut off her private member using a razor blade because she wanted to be a woman. In 2019, Skyler changed his name from Skyler Julius Deleon and legally named Skyler Precocia Deleon. During this time, Deleon changed her gender officially and became female. Cheyenne Shea Victoria The next name on this list will surprise you. In just her 20s, Cheyenne was given a 116-year sentence in prison for embezzlement and defrauding innocent customers. Cheyenne Shea Victoria is a retired Brazilian pro gamer who turned into an influencer with hundreds of thousands of followers on her social media platform. The young star had a promising career ahead of her since she had already established her name as one of the best Counter-Strike professional players in Brazil. Her prominences earned her the Brazil Game Cup Female Award back in 2019. Cheyenne was sentenced to 116 years in prison for fraud charges linked to an online store that she helped to run from the year 2013 to 2017. During this time, close to 120 customers claimed they never received the products that they had previously paid for. It's estimated that over $10,000 of cash was lost during this saga. According to various reports, when customers tried to find out the reason behind the goods not being delivered, they were told that the trucks responsible for transporting the ordered goods crashed, and it was going to take some time to work things out before they resent the orders. The lies didn't last for long as people sent their complaints to the Public Ministry of the State of Sao Paulo, MPSP, which resulted in an investigation of the online store by the authorities. The business accused of scamming people was managed by none other than Cheyenne. She was eventually arrested and held responsible. After being charged with fraud, Cheyenne appealed to the court through her lawyer. This case was viewed as problematic, and some judges thought the sentence to be a little over the top, considering the amount of money that was lost by victims. It's still unclear whether the former pro gamer will serve her sentence, considering in Brazil there's a 30-year limit in prison time for its citizens. The influencer released a statement on her Instagram story saying that the whole thing was a misunderstanding because the online store had done over 10,000 sales previously. We can't really tell who is saying the truth or what to believe here, but all we can do is follow the story closely to see how it unravels. Did you know that there's a WWE wrestler who will still be rotting in jail in 2070? Click on this video to see seven WWE wrestlers currently rotting in jail and the reasons why. See you there.